So now let me shift to share some of what I heard that I think was powerful and important shared by you this evening. This is a school that looks at the whole child. This is a school that gives students second chances. That's a place of redemption. It's a family. It's saved lives. It's a school that has built a curriculum around teaching students to think critically, to value their history and their culture, to know their identity, to respect each other's humanity. It's a school that's safe. It's a school that develops leadership, both amongst the faculty and amongst the students. And it's a school where teachers know kids well and know kids deeply and are willing to go above and beyond what you see in most schools in order to provide the supports that kids need. We heard students talk about coming to the school after being in other schools where no one ever cared what they thought or what they felt. We heard students talk about the fact that this is a school where they want to learn as a result of the commitment that they feel from their teachers. And we heard many stories about individuals who had come back from very difficult situations and learned how to be students and how to go on to be successes as educators, as musicians, as artists when they left here. And those were powerful stories. And they came through loud and clear. And I want you to know that as I take those stories back, I will share them with our Chancellor, Dennis Walcott, who is the person who's going to make the decision about whether this school will continue to the panel meeting or not. But I was moved by what you said tonight. I've been to a lot of public hearings. To the educators in this community, that the students here speak with such passion, with such eloquence, and so thoughtfully about what works. And I do think whatever gets decided as a result of this process, there's something very powerful here, and I thank you for sharing that tonight.